Hi, this is Dong Yi Lin from Florida Linguistics Association. In this video, I'm going to give you an introductory overview of syntax. Syntax is the study of the sentence structure, that is, how words are grouped together to form phrases and sentences. For some non-linguists, syntax is grammar and grammar is syntax. However, Strictly speaking, syntax is only a component of grammar. Of course, it is an essential and important component of grammar. Other components of grammar include phonology, which is concerned about the sound patterns, and morphology, which deals with word formation. Interested viewers can refer to other videos on our website for an introduction to other components of grammar. One characteristic of syntax is that all the human languages have syntax, although they are not the same. One example is the word order of subject, verb, and object in a sentence. Another example is the word order of determiners and nouns in a noun phrase. Every human language has a canonical word order for a sentence or phrase. For example, the canonical word order of an English sentence is subject, verb, object, and in an English noun phrase, the determiner, if any, must precede the noun. Therefore, the workers painted a house is a grammatical sentence, but house painted workers a uh, the is not. In no language is word order completely free. Even in languages where word order is freer, there is always a canonical, pragmatically neutral word order. In all human languages, when words are combined to form sentences or phrases, is achieved in specific and restrictive ways as regulated by the rules of syntax. Despite cross-linguistic differences, grammars are alike in fundamental ways. This is also true of syntax across languages. When words are combined to form sentences or phrases, they are not just drawn together in a linear manner, but are grouped into constituents. For example, in a sentence, the worker painted the house. The worker is a constituent that functions as the subject of the sentence, and painted the house is the predicate of the sentence. Within this predicate, we can isolate painted, which is the verb, from the house, which serves as the direct object. All languages assign hierarchical structure to their sentences. We will talk about how syntacticians identify such hierarchical structures in a future video that introduces constituents and constituent structure. Moreover, syntax is creative. Speakers are able to combine words in novel ways. With a finite set of words or lexical entries in the lexicon and synthetic rules, speakers can produce an infinite number of sentences. For example, we can always add a modifier to a sentence or a phrase, or embed a sentence in another sentence. Take the sentence, I like the pen, for example. We can add a prepositional phrase to modify the noun. For example, I like the pen on the desk. And then we can embed this sentence in another sentence. For example, Samantha thinks that I like the pen on the desk. We can keep adding modifiers and embedding a sentence in another sentence to create a new sentence. The final characteristic of syntax is inaccessibility. Grammars, including syntactic rules, are not directly accessible to conscious introspection. Native speakers of a language are able to produce and understand grammatical sentences effortlessly and they can distinguish ungrammatical sentences from grammatical ones. However, they are unaware of the syntactic rules that make it possible for them to do this. One of the primary goals of linguistics is to uncover language universals and variations. Syntacticians are also interested in how languages are alike in their syntactic structure and how they differ. Therefore, an important part of synthetic research is to investigate possible and impossible synthetic constructions or structures across the world's languages. For example, let's look at sentences from 1 to 3. In English, it is possible to replace a coordinate phrase with a double edge phrase and displace it to the sentence initial position like the sentence in 2, that is, or are they eating? However, it is impossible to displace just one phrase in a coordinate structure to the sentence initial position. The sentence in three, that is, what are they eating X and, is ungrammatical. By comparing grammatical and ungrammatical synthetic constructions or structures in the world's languages, syntheticians can propose synthetic rules and principles that can explain synthetic patterns that pertain to all the human languages. 
these universal rules and principles are part of universal grammar. Universal grammar is hardwired into human brains as part of the innate language faculty. This diagram shows the basic procedure or how linguists conduct syntactic research. First of all, we have to gather and observe linguistic data. In most cases, such data consists of a list of grammatical and ungrammatical sentences. Based on these sentences, we can make generalizations and develop hypotheses that can account for the syntactic pattern exhibited by the data that we have. The next step is to check this hypothesis against more data. Our hypothesis is confirmed if it can account for the new data. If it fails to account for the new data, we have to revise our hypothesis so that it can explain the new data as well. So, this concludes my introductory overview of syntax. Hope you've enjoyed this video. For more linguistics videos, please visit our website at www.flow.linguistics.com or check out our YouTube channel. Thank you.